Samara Renee. It's day one, 2023. Here we are. This year, I have decided to just stop sleeping on life. Done with not being present and taking action. I'm still basically doing the same thing I've been doing for the past decade. This year, 2023, is a milestone year for me because I'm turning 40. I just never really imagined myself at this age and there's so much that I want to do but I haven't done because I have fear. One of the things that I've been putting off has been a YouTube channel. So here I am, we're going to talk about everything about self-care. You might get a random rant from me about life and what I'm going through and you'll get plenty of lifestyle tips and self-care tips all year round. So. Are you ready for 2023? One thing that I did for myself for self-care was, number one, I went to bed around like three o'clock and we have church and normally church is at like 8.30. Well, today I hit the snooze alarm and I said, you know what? Normally I'd get up, I'd rush to get to church on time and I said, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to go to 11 o'clock. You know what? I'm going to take care of myself. I only have a few more days off and I'm going to sleep a couple extra hours and then head to church at 11 and that turned out great so it's okay to say you know what my body's tired today I don't feel like getting up and I think I'm gonna sleep another hour and that's completely and totally fine so that's my tip for you today take care of yourself listen to your body and cut yourself some slack my next tip I'm gonna have a glass of wine we're talking about energy to share I woke up this morning with something on my heart. Just, I don't know if you're like me, but I just have constant conversation in my head all the time. And when I woke up this morning, whatever internal dialogue was like, you know what? I'm so tired of putting energy towards people who don't put that same energy towards me. I have to be honest. I put a whole lot of energy towards people and things that... I'm not getting anything back in return. It's one thing to be nice. It's one thing to give back. But when it's having a detrimental effect on your life, then it's time to take back some of that energy and invest it in yourself. So that's what I'm going to do this year is instead of worrying about other people who don't seem to care, over investing time in things that are going on is I need to check out my energy is going towards things that are not only going to make my life better and I've been putting off so much because I've been waiting for the right time. I've been waiting to know, get the knowledge that I needed and honestly there is no good time. There's one thing that I can say for 2023 is that we're not putting energy towards anything else or anyone else unless you're getting that same energy coming back at you. All right, my next self-care tip, which I've been on this weight loss journey for more than two years. I did really well during COVID. I mean, I kept my weight stable up until May 2020. And I think it had a lot to do with me going back to a job that I really wasn't loving at the time. I am an emotional eater, I'll admit it. I ate my stress. I put on, gosh, I think I put on like 50 pounds. I mean, I can put on weight. If I could get a gold medal for putting on weight, I can put on weight so fast. It's just ridiculous. What I thought would be like normal, you know, hunker down, lose weight, work out you know, days a week, and I can get my body back. But huh, I'm 39 and I really try not to buy into the whole fact of your body not responding like it used to because you're a little bit older, but it seemed like that's starting to hang true. I have had the hardest time with losing my weight. So I've lost 20 pounds from maybe a little bit more, maybe I'm like at 23. Easily could have lost like 40 pounds or 50 pounds this past year, but it was not happening. One of the things I'm gonna encourage you to do is Number one, go see your doctor, like I did, about 
overall health goals. Weight is one thing, but another thing is how do you feel? Are your labs coming back clean? Yes, a number on a scale is good to look at, but I really want body fat and my blood sugar levels are the things that I keep track of like crazy to make sure that I'm healthy. Another thing about health and wellness is you got to make that a priority. You have to be so relentless. You need to hold that time precious as like the most precious thing that you have. No matter what, another thing for self-care, another tip is get really serious about your finances. Struggled with this. I have been on the Ramsey plan, like kind of sort of for like two years. So 2023 is the year that you're not going to be Dave-ish. You're going to go all in and you're going to get your finances in order. But I consider this a self-care tip is because when you have a lot of bills, things in collection, that creates unneeded stress in your life. Puts a question in your mind is, is this, can I really provide for myself? And the only way that you're going to feel good standing up as your own as a woman is really knowing what you're doing financially and knowing where every single penny goes you are providing that safety for yourself and the knowledge of your finances I mentioned i really love the dave ramsey show it's this common sense i have his books i listen to the podcast every single day i'm definitely doing the financial piece portion of it so i will definitely be checking in throughout the year it's not easy um especially when you want to go to ulta and spend a bunch of money on makeup that you really don't need or you want new hair <laughs> it's like or you need new clothes or your birthday comes up and you want to take a trip that's something that i've really felt insecure about was knowing that i had outstanding debt and I'm putting my money towards that and I'm not taking that home and keeping that for savings. My retirement's actually not that far away. I need to pull it together. Especially if you're single, that you're able to provide that security for yourself. You can do so much more when you have your finances in order and please do not get a credit card. If I can encourage you, you don't need it. Need any tips financially? I highly recommend the Dave Ramsey, the Ramsey show. You can listen on the podcast. It's one of the best like <laughs> financial podcasts. Another podcast that I love that's financial is Smart Money Happy Hour. It is hilarious. And maybe it's because the two hosts on the show are like around my age. And so they talk and say a lot of things that are very like in my generation and it's only 30 minutes and any talk about like everyday things make it really fun to learn about money let's get our finances together let's go this year because when we stop paying debt to someone else then we get to keep that money and you can do big things when you save Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube page. I am just so grateful to have you here and I am so fortunate to be able to share some of my tips and tricks on how to have a balanced life. If you liked any of my content today, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe. I am posting every week, so get ready for that. Make sure you visit my website, thesamarrenee.com. I have years worth of content for you to read about self-care, lifestyle, personal stories. It's all there and it's there to help you. You can learn from some of my mistakes and there's so much more that's going to be coming this year. This is our time. We're not just making changes and resolutions. We're here to change our life in a way that we're living our life so that we can be number one, a whole person, and number two, be giving out the best energy and vibes as possible.